All right, so today I'm gonna take this little patio here. My customer wants just like, it just barely covered. It's just when it rains, when it uh, <clears throat> snows, it sits up there. Obviously it gets his rug wet, it gets everything all wet. So um, there's no pitch on it, that's a problem. I explained that to him. He wanted there to be like, like a little bit of a level going up. There's none. And so is what they're gonna end up doing is they're gonna rebuild this next year. It's a little late right now, December. We doing painting and stuff around here. This is actually a nice day around here. Yeah, this is in uh, Green Acres, Washington, northeastern Washington. Yeah, beautiful. But um, so temporarily is what we're gonna do. Just put a little plastic roof on there. That'll stop probably 90% of the moisture. So we picked up these panels here for them. You can see we got these right here. I set them up on these little stands just to make it easy so I can work on it. You can see these. I bought these at Home Depot, these little centipede stands. These, um, I got these on sale for $13 a piece. You can see they make like little workbenches with them. They're pretty bitching. You can set up stuff with them. Get them on a good deal. So uh, really for this project, all you need is uh, some saw horses or whatever the stands you got. You need these panels. We went with these ones. Uh, they're 12 feet long, 2 feet wide. Uh, little tough decks. These little suckers right here. They were um, they were $32 a piece. Uh, they went, I went with clear because they wanted to see through. They didn't want to stop the sunlight. You can see that uh, a lot of the sunlight comes in here and goes into these windows. So I was like, you don't want to really cover this too much. And so this does that. Uh, these are, I believe, the polycarbonate. So they're a little more heavy duty. They should yellow. Some of the other plastic ones, uh, they'll yellow real easy. These ones should a little more heavy duty. That's why they're 32 bucks a piece. Uh, two feet wide. You got four feet wide, so we got eight of these. Might have one extra. You need to buy a thing of these screws right here. They come with it. Uh, these are, uh, they don't come with it, actually, they come separate. And then uh, these are about 35 bucks a piece. And then, um, okay, give us one second, buddy. Nice. He's got his little truck. Beautiful. Oh, God, I wish I had a truck like that. That's remote control, by the way. Not on there, if you can prevent it. Uh, so anyways, you pick up these. And these are what uh, the screws are going to go in. Oh, that's actually pretty bitching. Go ahead, see if you can keep going. Nice. Does it go backwards? Okay. Let's, uh, let's put this over here. For now, there you go, bud. Are they making a new video? Yeah. Okay. So, um, anyway, it's got my kid on the job site with me. <laughs> Babysitting today. It's going to destroy all my tools, everything. Anyways, uh, yeah, so you got some of these. Looks like we're missing one. I need five packs of these. And that's it. We're going to show you how to go up there first. We'll snap a bunch of lines, and I'll uh, put these on. Once you put these on, you just uh, measure front to back. I'll show you how to cut these little panels. Sometimes it looks like there's a lot of questions online about cutting these panels. It's pretty easy. You're just going to use nippers. I'll show you what we're going to use. And uh, that's about it. So we'll get started. All right, these are the only tools that I got. Uh, tape measure, of course. Measure some things. Uh, we got this little tool right here. It, uh, it interchanges. So you, you pull this bit out, you pull this out, one end is a drill bit and one end is, is a pilot hole. And you use these for uh, drilling in the panels, you make little pilot holes in them. Chalk line, basic chalk line, these are actually really nice, if you want a nice chalk line. Of course DeWalt, this is a lithium ion one, max, 20 volt max. Just in case I find something I need to pull up. Nippers to cut the panels with, trusty pry bar. They sell these at uh, Home Depot. They're not that much, maybe $13. These are WISS. That's all I use, WISS snips are really good. They call them duck bills, so they'll turn corners. That way you don't have to buy left or right. They got ones that go left, ones that go right, and ones that are round. And then you get these ones, and they go left, right, or straight. Why not just get the ones that do everything? That's it. I'm gonna get started. I'll head on up there. We'll go from there. Okay, I got the, uh, the first panel up. And um, I'm going to show you what uh, 
and give you all these things. These first thing you end up doing is putting on these little these little tough taxi saying square closure strips. You put them every couple of feet, you know, going all the way across two, 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 two. You buy enough to do it. And uh, as a matter of fact, in the back of here, there are some instructions. And uh, I chose to just do it one panel at a time to keep these nice and straight. And um, so that's how I ended up doing that. Cutting the panel, um, I simply just measured from back to front. Pretty simple. It's 113 inches. Boom, I got a sharpie and dried it off and you just mark them all and then um, these worked actually um, perfectly for cutting it. I bet you could even use household uh, shears, just scissors, just maybe some heavy duty scissors and uh, that works uh, just fine. And of one more note, I, I don't know if anybody can answer this, but how is it that dogs always got to crap exactly right where you're working? I have no idea why they do that, but it uh, seems to never ever fail. So I'm going to cut one more panel. I'm going to pop it on up there, and then uh, I'll go up top, and I'll show you what I got going so far. That's it. There's the beast right there. Trigger. Big boy. I got one more thing I wanted to go over. Um, there's a Sharpie I'm using for them, but I use these little tiny nails for uh, setting these things in place. Uh, so that they don't move because they tend to move around a lot and the screws they give you Are these suckers? I mean, that's just overkill. I never even tried it So I went and grabbed a little picture framing kit that I had and these little tiny nails I put three in one in the middle one side two in the ends and that's it and uh, that helps uh, Hold them so that they just go nice and straight. Otherwise they start getting all crazy on you. So hey, don't piss on that ladder Thank God. One of the pieces that be really important is I got this little piece here because you got to uh, drill pilot holes in each one of these. See, you can see that I have all the screws going in there. And each one of them has to have a pilot hole. So you get one of these little DeWalt thingies and uh, basically pull it up and lift the bit out. You turn one inch over. There's your quarter inch hex head which fits into this screw that's a quarter inch and uh, the other side is a uh, little pilot hole so you just keep flipping it over and pop it on in there lift it up it's real easy to use you drill all your pilot holes flip it over put in your screws drill your pilot holes do your screws and it keeps it real simple so look at where we are so far so I just put this one down. I didn't, uh, I just screwed down the front. I got to drill pilot holes. Um, they say to do like every ribbed joint, but I'm not doing every one. This one's not going anywhere. I'm just doing like every other one. Seems to be totally fine. You start out at the, at the uh, beginning. You end up hitting the double lap right there. And maybe I'll put one more right here on this lap, and then they all just do the same, then double. So you might need two in these last two after you overlap them. But yeah, I'm just overlapping it just by one little two channels, one and a half, whatever it is. You can see the overlappers right there. It's plenty. I know there's no pitch in this thing, but it will help. It's not going to just drip straight through. And these are solid panels, so so far looks okay. Not too bad. Okay, so, uh, man, it's a beautiful day today. Unbelievable view from this backyard. Unbelievable. Um, okay, back to work. So, real quick little tip. I have, like, this smaller piece of panel. It's left over. <clears throat> and if you had a pitch on the roof, you could probably use it just to, um, not have any waste but is what I decided to do and this is just a little bit of a tip is before I nail in this first row uh, I use this to, to make sure it lines up I was kind of eyeballing it and then on this one I noticed that uh, if you're not real careful you'll get this seam it needs to dead in like right there on and if it starts creeping this way then obviously your stuff gets all out of whack. It barely got out of whack on this last panel over here. And um, I was able to fix it. And um, 
so hopefully this will help you so you don't have that same problem if you get a little piece of waste as you use it use it for a template I know you guys are probably brighter than me and figured that out right away but I'm a little slow so um, anyways yeah that's how I'm doing it uh, the nailing pattern that I'm doing they say to put nails on every one but I didn't want to so I'm putting like one in the very end and then I skip one and then one and skip one and then one and then I nail both uh, or uh, screw the overlap so I try to keep it all nice and symmetrical so it don't look like a you know, mess, which I typically do make things look like a mess, but this is coming out okay. So anyways, that thing helps out quite a bit to make sure that your rows uh, stay straight and that you stay perfectly in that little channel right there. Okay, so we get this thing all wrapped up, actually just in time. Sun is going to be down here and... Probably 30 minutes tops. It's gorgeous over here. So, um, this is what it looks like from up top. We got it all set up. I had the hardest time with keeping these little, these little foam pieces straight. There's a section here. Oh, yeah, it's right there. That's just horrible. It, like, broke through the nail. I nailed all these down, and it moved when I shifted the panel. I didn't notice it until I had the panel all screwed in. So, um, this last panel, I overlapped uh, three places just to get it to come out on the edge, basically. So I got a factory edge there. I put all the cut seams up against here, up against this wall. It's real nice and tight. It's true, any water that comes straight down this wall can get behind here for now. I'm thinking about putting a piece of uh, roof-to-wall edge metal that looks like they have a place for it right here. I can get a piece of edge metal in right here and have it come out this way and... It'll stop wind blowing rain and water that sheds off here. So I'm probably going to do that next. But um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And get a nice vantage point from over on the deck and I'll take a full picture of it. And uh, So we got eight panels installed. Each one took about, uh, let's say probably about a good hour and 20 minutes each. I started to pick up some speed after that though. But uh, that's it. See you on the next one. So here we are, it's all finished. And uh, you can't really see nothing from here because it is flat. And everybody says it's gonna leak like crazy, but maybe it won't. You can see just a little bit of an edge. I did about a one inch overhang on the edge here. Not too bad. Um, over on the sides. And you see this is a little bit over, quite a bit. Hung it all the way over on the other side. See, I made it even. Should have made it even on both sides. I thought this looked cleaner. Uh, hindsight, as you know. I'm pretty happy with it from underneath. It was a little wet out this morning. No dripping. No anything. Lots of light still comes through. That's my favorite part about this. A lot of light comes through. Because this is, you know, these windows down here. It's, it's the only light we got going into the place here. And without it. I didn't want it to be darker. That's why I didn't want a roof on there. So let's go up. We'll take a quick look. Keep in mind this patio is going to get rebuilt next summer. It's just too late in the year to do it. You can see. Not too bad. I got a little bit higher of a picture. Yeah, pretty uniform. I had a lot of trouble keeping these little foam pieces straight. I just had a lot of trouble with that. There's a couple areas where it gets a little crazy on. You can see I put the screws. This ladder sucks. I basically did them like every other one. Skipped one. Except for when the panels doubled up. I did two for where it overlapped. And skipped one and then one. They say do every one but I was like it's just overkill. This thing ain't going nowhere. So that's how I did that. I chalked a line to put these on. I used those little tiny nails to kind of tack it in. Those nails would break every now and then. Anyways, uh, this is going to be real good. Keep some of the snow out. Won't be dripping. Keep things a little bit drier underneath here. Going to put a little... Uh, 
those little long heaters up right there mount it right there it's got power right there that way when I'm out here I like to smoke cigars there'll be no snow on the ground dog will be happy trigger and that's it look at that big difference from Southern California no ocean but unbelievable nonetheless see you on the next one